The launched girder erection technique is an advanced construction method often used for building bridges over large obstacles such as waterways, valleys, or roads, where conventional methods may be difficult or uneconomical. In the case of the North Channel Bridge Replacement Project in Cornwall, Ontario, this technique was employed to construct a new bridge over the St. Lawrence Seaway. This method is notable for its precision and efficiency in assembling large steel structures, especially when space or environmental constraints exist. The launched girder erection technique involves fabricating steel girders in sections and then incrementally moving or launching them horizontally across the gap to be bridged. In traditional bridge construction, sections might be lifted vertically into place by cranes. However, for longer spans or difficult-to-reach locations, the launched girder technique offers a more practical solution, allowing the entire structure to be assembled on one side of the obstacle and then rolled into its final position. In this particular project, steel box girders were used as the main structural components. These girders are strong, hollow steel beams Teams, ideal for supporting heavy loads over long distances. The process began with the fabrication and assembly of the girders, which were then prepared for launching. A key component of this technique is the steel launching nose, a lightweight girder section with variable inertia mounted at the front of the structure. Its purpose is to guide the main girder assembly and minimize structural loads during the launching process. As the front part of the bridge is being pushed across the gap, the launching nose helps reduce the bending stresses on the girders, especially as they extend beyond the supports and hang over open space. By minimizing the forces acting on the structure during the launch, the nose ensures that the steel girders remain stable and aligned. At the rear of the bridge assembly, counterweights are installed to balance the structure and control the rolling moment, the tendency of the structure to rotate. The rolling moment is critical to manage because, without proper balance, the assembly could tip or become unstable during the launching process. The counterweights ensure that the forces are evenly distributed between the front and rear of the structure. This is particularly important as the assembly crosses the supports and enters free space, when the weight distribution is balanced, with as much weight at the rear of the bridge as at the front, the counterweights are gradually withdrawn. The assembly, now perfectly balanced, can slowly roll forward on the launching nose. During the launching process, the girders are supported by a roller system that allows for smooth movement. The use of rollers reduces friction and helps maintain the structure's alignment as it is pushed or pulled across the gap. The rollers are typically installed at key points along the structure, allowing it to move in a controlled and precise manner. One of the major advantages of the launched girder erection technique is the precision it offers. Throughout the process, the structure is carefully guided so that, once the launch is completed, the ends of the girders are perfectly aligned with their intended supports. This minimizes the need for adjustments and ensures that the bridge will have proper structural integrity. The Bebo artwork in Body Vidorp, created by Martin's Prefab Concrete, is an impressive example of innovative infrastructure design, particularly in relation to the rerouting of the A9 highway. This project uses Bebo, a type of concrete arch structure, which brings several advantages in both construction efficiency and long-term performance. The Bebo system is ideal for highway applications due to its durability, streamlined construction process, and the elimination of some traditional road maintenance challenges. One of the key features of the Bebo design is that it eliminates the need for expansion joints in the road that passes over the concrete arch. Expansion joints are typically used to allow for the natural expansion and contraction of road materials due to temperature changes, which can cause wear over time and require regular maintenance. By removing the need for these joints, the Bebo structure reduces long-term maintenance costs and provides a smoother driving experience. Experience. Another significant advantage of the Bebo system is the speed and ease of installation. The construction process for these concrete arches does not require temporary supports, making it faster and more efficient. Moreover, the construction begins at ground level, minimizing disruption to the surrounding area and reducing the complexity of the project. 
this approach is particularly beneficial for a busy highway like the A9, where minimizing road closures or diversions is crucial to maintaining traffic flow. From an aesthetic and architectural perspective, the Baybo structure offers a sleek and attractive design. Its arch shape can be customized in a variety of forms, circular, elliptical, or flattened, making it adaptable to different contexts and requirements. This flexibility allows for a visually appealing solution in diverse settings while still maintaining structural integrity. In addition, the visible surfaces of the concrete can be finished in various ways, offering further customization options to suit the surrounding environment and the preferences of designers or local authorities. General Prefectural Road Isahaya Outer Ring Road Improvement Project, Isahaya IC Merger Bridge Superstructure, the General Prefectural Road Isahaya Outer Ring Road Improvement Project, specifically focusing on the Isahaya IC Merger Bridge, represents a critical step in enhancing the region's infrastructure. This project is part of the larger Shimabara Road Initiative, a high-standard regional road that connects key areas of Nagasaki Prefecture. The 7-kilometer Isahaya Outer Ring Road, stretching from Nagano Town to Keitsu Town in Isahaya City, is designed to achieve two main objectives, fostering regional interaction and revitalization between the Shimabara Peninsula and the central region of the prefecture, and reducing traffic congestion in Isahaya City's central area by functioning as a ring road. The Isahaya Outer Ring Road plays a dual role in improving the local transportation network. By connecting the Shimabara Peninsula with central Nagasaki Prefecture, the road encourages smoother interaction and easier access between these regions. This has significant implications for regional development as it facilitates economic activities, tourism, and mobility for residents. Moreover, the road is designed to divert traffic away from the heavily congested central part of Isahaya City, thereby improving the flow of vehicles and reducing travel time. For both residents and travelers, the Isahaya Outer Ring Road is expected to enhance convenience and reduce the environmental impact associated with traffic jams, such as air pollution and noise. One of the key infrastructure elements of this project is the Isahaya IC Merger Bridge, which connects the Isahaya Interchange IC of the Nagasaki Expressway to the Outer Ring Road. This bridge serves as a crucial link, ensuring that vehicles can seamlessly transfer between the expressway and the regional road system. Given that the bridge crosses over the Nagasaki Expressway, minimizing disruption to expressway traffic was one of the project's highest priorities. Construction Approach Minimizing impact and maximizing efficiency to achieve the smooth construction of the Isahaya IC merger bridge with minimal disruption to expressway users, the project team, comprising MMB and and Yoshikawa Construction JV employed several advanced construction techniques. The goal was to complete the bridge installation swiftly and safely, reducing the need for prolonged closures or restrictions on the expressway. The entire installation was carried out in one night, a testament to the meticulous planning and precision of the project. By working during a single night, the team was able to minimize the inconvenience to drivers, maintaining safety while reducing the impact on daily traffic flow. Completing such a complex task in this time frame required a high level of coordination and the use of specialized equipment and techniques. The construction of the Isahaya IC merger bridge utilized a range of advanced tools and methods. One of the key techniques employed was the use of multi-axle transporters to move the massive bridge girders into place. These transporters provided the necessary stability and precision to transport large bridge components 
distance over uneven terrain and around tight corners. Another crucial piece of equipment was the 550-ton crane, one of the largest of its kind, which was essential for lifting and positioning the girders. This crane was capable of handling the enormous weight of the bridge sections, ensuring they were accurately placed over the expressway without causing any damage to the surrounding infrastructure. Additionally, the construction team used special jacks for the longitudinal launching of the bridge girders. This method allowed the girders to be pushed into position along the length of the bridge, ensuring they were aligned perfectly with the rest of the structure. Longitudinal launching is a highly efficient method for installing bridge sections, as it reduces the need for heavy lifting and allows for greater precision. Over the last few years, the electrification of the Bristol to Cardiff railway line has been a significant infrastructure project aimed at modernizing the route and improving its efficiency. This extensive project focused on installing overhead line equipment, oil, and making necessary adjustments to accommodate the transition from diesel to electric trains. Key areas of focus included the installation of oil within critical tunnels, the replacement of bridges to allow for the additional height of electrified trains, and the overall enhancement of stations and tracks along the line. One of the most technically challenging aspects of the project was the installation of overhead line equipment in several tunnels along the route, particularly Chipping Sodbury, Patchway, and the Severn Tunnel. These tunnels presented unique engineering obstacles due to their age and confined spaces. In Chipping Sodbury Tunnel, work involved the precise installation of supporting masts and overhead wires to ensure that the trains could operate safely while navigating the tunnel's narrow dimensions. Similarly, the Patchway Tunnel required considerable retrofitting to accommodate the new infrastructure. The Severn Tunnel, the longest tunnel on the route, posed even greater complexity, necessitating careful planning and execution to install oil without disrupting the tunnel's structural integrity. In addition to the tunnels, supporting masts were installed on open tracks between these structures. These masts form the backbone of the electrification system, supporting the wires that will ultimately power the trains. The installation work was particularly challenging in areas where access was limited, and construction teams had to work within tight schedules to minimize disruption to rail services. Another crucial element of the electrification process was the replacement of bridges that spanned the railway line, as the new electrified trains require additional clearance for the overhead wires, various bridges needed to be raised or replaced entirely. This was particularly significant in Magar, where three bridges, Rogiet, Landaveni, and Huggets, were replaced. Each bridge had to be demolished and rebuilt with greater height to accommodate the new electric lines. Elsewhere, other vital bridges were replaced, such as Bridge Street in Newport and Splot Road in Cardiff, which were key pinch points along the electrified route. The bridge replacement work required coordination with local communities to ensure minimal disruption, as these crossings are essential for both road and rail traffic. As part of the broader upgrade to the Bristol to Cardiff line, Newport Station underwent a comprehensive overhaul. The station's platforms were lengthened and adjusted to align with the requirements of electrified trains, and new oil infrastructure was installed throughout the station area. In addition to the major works, significant devegetation took place along the route, particularly in the Patchway Gap area. Tyson Technology in Port Infrastructure Construction over the past century, Asiona Infrastructure has established itself as a leader in the construction of port infrastructures, continually pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation. One of its most notable advancements is Kaisen Technology which has revolutionized harbor construction by offering unparalleled versatility, resistance, and durability. This method aligns with the company's commitment to environmental sustainability and accident prevention, making it a preferred choice for modern port projects. 
A kaisen is essentially a robust structure, typically made from reinforced concrete and steel, designed to provide rigidity and stability to marine installations. This technology offers a myriad of design possibilities, enabling its application not only for vertical keys and docks, but also for various offshore structures, including mooring dolphins, offshore stations, and sea containers. The ability to adapt Kaisen designs for different functionalities is a significant advantage in port infrastructure development. The construction of a Kaisen begins with the preparation of a raft reinforced with steel rods, which serves as the foundation for the Kaisen. After pouring and curing the concrete for the base, the structure that supports the formwork is lowered, allowing the formwork to be assembled. Subsequently, concrete is poured into the formwork, which is eventually submerged in water. Once the kaisen is constructed, the formwork is removed, and the kaisen is ready for launch. After the kaisen is completed, it must be anchored in its final location. This process involves loading rock fill onto barges, which will serve as the foundation for the caissons. Once the bedding layer is prepared, tugboats are used to position the kaisen accurately, stabilizing it through ballasting, which ensures that it is secure and ready for further construction. One of the standout features of Kaisen technology is its efficiency. Asiona can construct up to 200 meters of dock per month, significantly reducing the time required for project completion. Additionally, the construction process occurs on a floating dock, effectively creating a mobile factory. This setup enhances worker safety, as it allows for better supervision and implementation of safety measures compared to traditional methods. The floating dock also mitigates risk associated with on-site construction, such as congestion and accidents, as the need for heavy vehicle traffic is minimized. The environmental benefits of this approach are substantial. The reduction in resource consumption and vehicle usage leads to decreased carbon emissions and lower noise levels, contributing to a more sustainable construction process. Another key logistical advantage of Kaisen technology is the flexibility it provides. Caissons can be manufactured off-site and then floated to their final location, reducing the need for extensive on-site space and minimizing environmental impact. This capability allows allows Asiona to manage complex projects more efficiently, ensuring that the caissons can be deployed quickly and effectively without disrupting local ecosystems. Asiona operates three floating caisson building docks capable of undertaking marine construction projects globally. Among them, the Kuga, the latest addition, can produce caissons up to 57 meters long, 26 meters wide, and 30 meters high. The Kuji holds the world record for the largest reinforced concrete caisson, measuring 67 meters long, 32 meters wide, and 34 meters high. Finally, the Balea offers a more compact solution, capable of producing 26-meter-long caissons, which adds to the versatility of the fleet. ACCIONA's approach to caisson construction is not only efficient but also economically viable. By reducing construction time and enhancing safety, the company can keep project costs manageable while ensuring high-quality results. Furthermore, the emphasis on minimizing environmental impact aligns with global sustainability goals, making Kaisen technology an attractive choice for modern infrastructure projects.